thought I'd do a quick review of the uh, cooling system on the CNC. There is an auto off and on positions for the pump and fan. Auto is triggered by the logic circuit on the VFD and it's a 5 volt trigger uh, activating a 12 volt relay. The on position is just allows me to operate everything manually in case I just need to test it or if I decide that it needs to uh, cool longer. The auto also has a five second delay on the VFD uh, logic programming. So uh, if I turn the spindle on just for a second to just to test something or just to bump it for whatever reason, I don't need to cool it. So I figure if I'm going to run it for more than five seconds, I'm actually going to really run it. So anyway, let's power it up and uh, let you look at the relays. So when the relay comes on, it activates those, that circuit right there. Uh, in auto, it does the same thing for the relays except that it's triggered by the VFD instead of by this switch. So that's the way that system looks. Okay, there's not really a whole lot to see here other than it's a reservoir, a submersible pump, and fan and radiator. And they both plug into that box uh, so that I can unplug if necessary. So let's fire it up. I did actually run this just to make sure I didn't have any leaks. Unlike some of the other tests that I've done where I just turned it on and you all got to see if there were any sparks. If there was water spraying everywhere, I didn't want to have to mess with cameras. So, turn it on. So I did run it one time. And it's kind of crowded over here. connected to the top so that I can do the lid so that I can see it discharging and I'll probably put a flow meter at some point or a flow indicator right now that'll do when I pull that out and put the antifreeze in it'll be red because this is test water this is actually drinking water bottled drinking water and I'll pull this out, drain the system, clean it out good, and I'll put the still water. So the fan is moving a lot of air through that radiator. Sorry for moving this. I didn't make anybody sick. But anyway, that's the way it looks. It's got a filter on the inlet side, the intake of the, of the uh, pump line, just an aquarium filter. It's just going to stop big stuff. There shouldn't be any trash in there. It's sealed up pretty good. Uh, the reservoir holds seven and a half gallons. I'll probably start out with about four gallons. But anyway, seems to work pretty good. Leaks, which is a good thing. And, uh, these lines are uh, kind of paper pure silicon. And uh, I think they'll, they'll hold up well. Just 
still have to work on this and fix this. I've got a support coming for the, for the uh, cable chain. So uh, when that comes in next week, then I'll be able to clean all that up. But it's looking good.